Peace, what's going on guys? It's your boy Serrano, welcome back to the channel. Now, if you're new to the crew, make sure you subscribe and get notified, but if you're already part of the crew, salute. Now, today we're gonna be talking about the LG K50S and my top five reasons why you should be checking this device and maybe picking it up. So I wanna give you five reasons why I think this device is actually worth picking up in 2021. So the first thing that I like about this device is what you get for the price. You're getting a really great device. It's a uh, 6.5 inches. It has a large battery, 4,000 milliamp hour battery. It has a entry level price um, chipset, which is like uh, three gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of storage but you get the Helio P22. We'll get into all of that in a little bit more detail, but what comes in the box is actually impressive. Now, it was wrapped around this nice little sleeve, which came with it. It told you some of the information here. You also got not only the, the brick for your to charge it with an adapter, just in case you wanted to have that for Euro, but you also do have, um, this. this is the thing that kind of surprised me was that they also included some headphones here. So they went out of the way to actually put some headphones in there. Um, I'm not sure if every single, um, you know, device was shipped that way, but this came brand new out of the box. Did come with some headphones. So, you know, this device does have a headphone jack. So I think it's pretty cool that you get all of that for about $134, $39.99 right now. Now, the second thing I like about this device is that it's military grade tested. It's military standard 810 5G, uh, the 5, the 810G. So they tested pretty much um, this device in different um, temperatures. And they also tested it on drops, like around four feet on the edges and on the front and back of the phone to see how well it would endure, like drops and things of that nature. And honestly, this device actually feels really good in the hand. And it's not gonna mean that you can carelessly use it like without worrying if it's gonna crack or anything, cause it can still crack. But what it just means is that it's more, it's certified to be used or in rough conditions. And um, it will actually be able to withstand drops better than products that don't with them. Um, you know, it's been put through a lot of tests, meaning they have came to the conclusion that it will, you know, withstand drops a lot easier or like better than other products and things of that nature. So I think that's cool that this does have that grade on it. Um, now, you can't really like throw it in water or anything like that, but um, it can withstand the rain, things of that nature, dust and a variety of other conditions. Now, the third thing is the screen size. It's absolutely a beautiful screen size to look at at 6.5 inches HD plus. So it's not gonna be the highest density in the world. You you will see some, some bezels on the sides and even a chin on the bottom, but overall the device feels really large when you're holding it in the hand. It kind of feels like a V60 or like a LG, um, you know, like the, G, the, the G8. Um, thank you. It feels like that phone, how big it is, but um, it's like really large size in the hand. So if you're into big phones, it's pretty cool. But the screen does give you 259 pixels per inch with a medium density display, which is really nice. Um, the, br the brightness is uh, 400 nits. And so it's gonna be pretty decent when it comes to the brightness. Um, you could pump this thing up to um, all the way up or keep it at auto depending on whatever you want to do um, I like to just keep it all the way up to the full brightness but um, it's an LCD IPS display and I, have, I think this device does have a really um, great display for this price now I was actually surprised but this Helio P22 MT6762 processing chip is performing really well um, with pretty much anything I do, if I, you know, touch a button, I can get to it in a matter of about two seconds. It only feels really snappy when you're looking at media. And it also does have this little um, thing on the, the side 
so you can get to your what's the weather right now wait hold let me hold it what's the weather right now right now in the bronx it's 43 degrees and partly cloudy today it'll be mostly cloudy with a forecasted high of 44 and a low of 27. there is currently a winter storm warning in effect so that's pretty cool that you know you have that little button on the side for convenience so that's another thing that's really cool that I like about it. Overall, you get the um, power button right here. You get the tap to wake since it is an LG device, but it doesn't have a facial recognition. So that's the only thing that kind of sucks. But the fingerprint does work really quickly on this device. You get your Google feed on the left, but headphone jack is going to be below right where I like it with the type C. The speaker is going to be right there. And um, you get your volume rockers right here and look at the volume rocker this is another thing i like when you touch the volume look at this you could you get this little panel here so you can mess around with the volume and the toggle and then let's say i was listening to um youtube right now let me see i'll go into youtube and one of the cool things about it is that when i'm watching youtube and i hit the volume rocker Check this out. It's gonna take you to, um, usually YouTube can show up right here as well, or Spotify and things of that nature. And um, it's just gonna be uh, an awesome interface. Look at that, I like how they do that. So you can you can mess around with your volume, you know, for your ringtones and your notifications and games and music. So I think that's another cool feature on the side that is just nicely implemented on this device. You, you also do have your pull down on the back with the fingerprint to get to your notification bar as well. So that's another thing that's really smooth for the user interface. Now, the, another thing that's really cool about this device is it does give you a series of cameras to play around with. This one is the front facing camera. As you can see, it's pretty nice. You get a beauty mode on here and it'll allow you to increase the beauty or not. I like to turn that off. You get a flash on the front, which is pretty cool to have. You also do get filters as well. So you can go through all the various filters. Let's try this one, pure. Well, that looks stupid. It's, it's like purple. You got the mellow one. That actually looks pretty cool. I like that. Jade, that one's actually nice. So it's a lot of different colors here. This is the regular one. So it's very plain. Um, if you go to the settings here, you do have grid, you do have uh, various options here to mess around with the selfie shots. So you could do gesture shot or an auto shot. Uh, it does give you full vision down at the bottom and four by three as well. You get the portrait mode, so it doesn't give you an aperture, but you can blur it in the background. So that actually looks really good. It's going to give you some really good portraits. Um, honestly, I've taken a lot of portraits on this device and they did come out pretty good. You can see the, the details around my mouth look, um, you know, it's very detailed around my face. You could see the scar and wrinkles around my eyes you know, my, my forehead and my eye and things of that nature and all the hair um, on the sides the, and a slight cut off on the ear tip right there. So not the, you know, most accurate, but a lot of phones will cut off some part of your body when you're doing shots. Now let's take a look at the, the rear camera. Now what's cool about the rear camera is when you go to photo, you're going to get this option right here to switch to um, various options so we have this is the wide mode right here and i could take a shot wide angle or i could just zoom in on the the closest thing to me so when you zoom in on something like really quickly and you just look at it that has some good detail on there let me let me take a shot of this and let, let me look at that real quick it does give you the option to share it right after and yeah, that's that's some really good detail right there um, and some good lighting. You could see that the detail on there looks really nicely on his um, around the chest. You could see the shadows and all the details like the, everything is just really clear to look at. 
So um, <clears throat> they also do give you an AI cam. So it can probably detect different things like flowers and um, plants and things of that nature. So like right now I'm putting it over the AI cam right here and it's automatically gonna know what color to pick right here. So let me take a shot right here with the AI cam. Okay, so that came out pretty good too. You know, some good detail on there. You can see that when you zoom in, you could really see the leaves and the detail on those. So that's actually pretty cool. But that's another thing. I like all the different options that they have for the cameras. But overall, guys, when it came to the gaming on this device, it was pretty smooth. We get a Helio uh, MediaTek Helio P22 on this thing. So it's actually pretty decent. Um, you could see right here, we do get three gigabytes of RAM on this device for, for gaming and things of that nature. We also do get uh, 32 gigabytes of internal storage on this one. So, you know, it's a pretty decent device if you want to game on here. I do like it for gaming and things of that nature. Um, there wasn't any real stutters when I was playing this game right here. Um, it was definitely a good experience, so. I really didn't complain whatsoever, you know, just to say the least, I did, I did, um, I was experiencing some good gameplay, um, so honestly it was pretty decent guys overall, with the 3 gigabytes of RAM, it was able to push, we got the accelerometer, the light sensor, proximity, sen proximity sensor as well, but overall it did give you enough power to play games on this device, so I was able to play PUBG on here as well as some other high graphic intensive games. So I just wanna show you guys that you can play PUBG on here, medium graphics, and it does perform pretty decent as well. Overall, this device does have a really nice smooth, just overall interface, the speakers are pretty decent. You just get that one speaker on the bottom. As long as you don't put your hand over top of it, it's plenty loud for overall use, even music and things of that nature. However, you can cover it up here at the top. So just, you know, be mindful of that. But you get the headphone jack down below, which I really do like it there versus at the top. I think it's way better at the bottom. And you also do get another mic at the top for noise cancellation when you're on, you know, phone calls, things of nature. SIM card is right here for extra storage when you want to expand that as well. But um, let me show you how the device does perform on PUBG, guys. So uh, I was playing a little bit earlier and I, I did notice that it did play smooth. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. Now I'm having a little bit of Wi-Fi issues right now. So let me see. Okay, so, so far it looks really good, guys. Um, not having any issues right now, so. As you can see, it does perform pretty smooth on PUBG. Um, I, we, there will be a disconnect with, if you have poor um, connection. As you can see, I wasn't able to go to that side of the map because of the Wi-Fi. Let me see if I could kind of sneak in here. That was a good, um, a kill, a good kill right there. He's at the top of the thing. Let me see if I can find him. Okay. Yeah, guys, but overall it's going to be able to play PUBG, um, Call of Duty, things of that nature. Right now, I'm using the Wi-Fi but you can connect this device to Mint Mobile. You can see the interface at the top is really nice. It has this eco play button to save, you know, battery and things of that nature. Keep it low powered. Um, 
that's kind of cool. We also do get DTS X 3D surround sound, which you can use when you have headphones connected to it, which is something that's also really good feature to have flashlight. Um, you can rearrange your buttons here. We do have hotspot on this device nearby share, but we don't get NFC. But let me know what you guys think about this device overall, and I'll get right back with you later, crew. Peace.